Hey everybody, Mark Spector Comics, and I'm back. This time I got a few packages to open up for what some of you guys like to call What Not Wednesday. If you want to see what I got, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. So, I ended up... Um, picking up i got three packages here um these were all from whatnot all from three different sellers um i picked up a few different things towards the end of my uh stay in virginia um that was just had a little bit of extra time a few nights during the week and uh, i figured i'd go on whatnot uh just go on some random channels see what they're putting up and um i bought a few books um honestly don't remember what i picked up uh, it's kind of like one of those things. I think that's kind of one of the dangers or whatnot. You just can easily pick up stuff randomly going from one channel to the next. And, um, you know, they come in the mail and then there you go. <laughs> you ended up purchasing some books. So, um, got three packages. I'm going to open them up and show you what's in there. Um, first package is, says Gary on there. I'm assuming this is from Barry Gary. Um, let's see, uh, yeah, looks like Barry Gary, so I think I remember what this is, I think this was, uh, a first appearance, if I'm not mistaken, and, um, uh, I haven't bought a book from, to be honest, a book from Whatnot in a very long time, um, for the longest time, I deleted the app, um, it was kind of, like, all set with the, uh, the whatnot shenanigans that were going on about a year, year and a half ago from um, a bunch of the prominent sellers on there. I'm not going to mention their names, but uh, that kind of like put me away from whatnot. Up until recently, I decided, well, I have a few friends on there that are selling. Uh, so let me, you know, go on there and see what they have. So, uh, like I said, this was one of the books I ended up purchasing that night from uh this one is from yeah very gary comics okay so what i pay uh thrifty i like it's been a while so you can say live stream thrifty thursdays with double a comics okay um it's funny because it still has my virginia address on there but um so this was a variant uh ended up picking this up for dirt cheap what i thought and i know this book has gone down quite a bit but, um, I'll show you the book and, uh, you see for yourself. This is, uh, A Force number one. And, um, this is, I believe this is the Stephanie Hans variant. I don't recall offhand. Um, but, uh, there is a little signature there at the bottom, but I'm not really sure offhand, but I'll, I'll probably put the, uh, the name on there now as I'm, uh, editing later but uh this is the uh, one in 25 and um it has the character on there on the cover this is first appearance of uh oh geez drawing a blank uh i had to go back real quick so um this is the one in 25 uh jorge molina cover and uh, it has the uh first uh, appearance of singularity which you can see here on the cover, really cool. It almost has um, uh, an almost like an appearance of like eternity. But um, this book ended up getting a bunch of heat back when the Thor: uh, Love and Thunder movie came out. When we saw when we saw that character, uh, what they called um, Love, I think it was. I forget. But um, there was that little puddle there at the end. It showed a reflection, and it you know showed what you know, would look like her on there. And then this book ended up spiking quite a bit. Um, so, uh, this was pretty cool. Nice little pickup. I paid seven bucks for it, which is well under the, uh, one in 25 price. And, um, it's in actually pretty decent shape. One of the things I dislike about, um, whatnot is that they often don't, at least the sellers often don't, write down the estimated grades of the book when they are live streaming 
not to say that they all don't do it. Some do. But um, I feel like there's a portion of them that don't. But this one seems to be in pretty good condition. And uh, so, yeah, that's the first book I picked up. Um, the second book, let's see, I believe this one came from uh, Reggie Collects. And um, been following Reggie's channel for quite some time. And I believe this was the first night he was um, live streaming on uh, whatnot. So he was putting up some books. And uh, the first book he put up, he was putting up a lot of DC, which is cool. And a lot of the books are coming from his 100K collection. So the uh, first book I ended up picking up was actually, I was his first sale, which is pretty cool. You know, he, he liked that. But um, it was a book that I never uh, had or read. But um, it's a great series. Um, the cover art is kind of weird. It's kind of wonky. But I guess it goes with the, uh, the artist in hand. But uh, this is Batman, Dark Knight, uh, Falls number four. Uh, so it's by Frank Miller, Klaus Jansen and Lynn Varley. This is uh, obviously a classic story. I've never read any of the issues, but um, I had to pick this up anyways because it was pretty cheap. I think I paid like eight bucks for it. it doesn't This one actually doesn't have the, um, the uh, price on there, but I'd have to go back on whatnot to see what it was. But um, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I was going back to the Frank Miller artwork. Like I said, this is... Um, a lot of people consider this classic, but to me, it's kind of wonky artwork. But uh, but I've always wanted to read this, so um, I'll take a read. Obviously, I'll have to get the first three, but um, it was nice to pick up as well. And then the last one. The last one was uh, another seller on Whatnot. Uh, I believe he goes by C. C. Fuller. Um, sells quite often on whatnot. Um, and there was one of the nights he was selling the uh, one dollar keys, silvers, bronze age, and um, they had like one of those random mystery boxes, um, and what they call uh, like mystery bangers. So this one's called Raw Comic Bangers. Paid a dollar for it, so I don't have much into it. Um, but uh, so I basically paid a dollar plus shipping. So, um, ended up picking this one up for a dollar. Like I said, it, it's probably going to be something like a, a filler book, I would imagine. Uh, I, I don't see myself having anything big in here for a dollar. So, uh, it was kind of like one of those, well, all right, I'll go on there, see what they have. And then if it's something cool, then great, <laughs> you know? Um, so, I'm, I'm expecting it to be something random, but at least it'll, it should be Bronze Age from what I gathered. Um... So let's open this up. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, I don't have this. All right. So this is the official handbook of the Marvel Universe number three. CD uh, from the collector to Dracula. There you go. Uh, don't have actually any of these Marvel Universe books. But uh, there you go. For a buck. There you go. It's cover price. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> Um, I'll have to, uh, go in there and take a read. This is pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Quick little video for, uh, Whatnot Wednesday. Um, don't expect to make many of these because I don't often shop on Whatnot. It was just kind of like one of those splurge, you know, couple days I was on there, you know, searching. But, uh, that's that. Hopefully, you know, got something cool out of it. Uh, if you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and then comment down below. All right, guys, until next time, Mark Spectre Comics, out.